Good morning. Uh, episode day installment number 28. Um, in some ways, it's, you know, I, I said a little bit of this yesterday. It's kind of odd that we've, we're still here 28 days later, but um, here we are. And uh, thank you for being with me this morning, praying for you, uh, praying for your family. We're so glad that we can be a blessing in some way to you. Um, so this will be the first time I'm making this announcement. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and then uh, we're going to cap it off on Wednesday. Uh, we have we partnered with Convoy of Hope, and we have some food items, some non-perishable food items, especially for, you know, there's a lot of kid stuff, cereal, um, uh, uh, breakfast bars, um, peanut butter, beans, uh, beef stew, uh, it goes on and on and on. There's, there's quite a bit of stuff here. We are making it available to the church first. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning, um, these will be, uh, these will be available to you. Um, just come, um, there'll be, you know, we, you can't come and like, take all of it. Uh, we got to remember that there's other people. Um, but it's available for you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so let us know. We'll be here. We're glad to make that available. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give that to whatever's left over. We're going to give it to a food pantry um, on Wednesday. So um, basically Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning. Um, that'll be available to you, and we want to help you out. There's some. There's also some diapers um, there and uh, some nose wipes for babies. It's the first time I've seen it, but uh, those are available too. And there's just all kinds of stuff there. Like I said, there's peanut butter and there's uh, mustard and there's there's just different things. So anyways, I'm taking up a lot of time. Um, please, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday mornings, come help yourself. We, we want to make those available to you and your family. Um, so here's the deal. I, I'm going to make a confession. Um, I have been uh, lately... I've, I've reverted back to a really bad habit of mine. And uh, that's at night, after I've had dinner, later in the evening, um, I've been having a bowl of cereal before I go to bed. Um, and I cannot, I cannot break this. Like every night I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be good. I, you know, I'm still working out. We're still, you know, Lori and I, thank God we're in a great gym that are providing daily workouts and we're, we're doing our workouts and we're staying, you know, with all of that. But this evening bowl of cereal thing is just uh, killing me. Like it's, it's, and, 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 and no matter how much I tell myself, I'm not going to do it. I have this bowl of cereal at night, somewhere eight thirty, nine 9 o'clock. Um, sometimes later. Cause there's been some nights I, I don't get out of here until, uh, late. So, and, and I, I just, it's my appetite. That's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk about our appetite. What are the things we're craving? And then once we're craving, what are the things that we're feeding our soul? You know, in a time like this, when we, most of us are, we have a lot more time on our hands. Um, you know, people are binge watching Netflix and, and um, I've been trying to catch up a little bit. I got to admit for me, this has been busier time than I've ever had. Um, which is saying something because we're usually pretty busy around here, but this is like crazy for me. But, you know, I'm, I'm that guy who likes to, you know, at some point during the day, I, I just like, um, I, I like the boxes that they talk about, um, that guys have. I, I got my empty box and I just, I just either want to read or watch TV or, you know, just something. And, um, and so my daughter and I, we've been watching old, um, uh, boy meets world uh, episodes. So, um, don't judge me. Okay. Just don't judge me. Um, I'm going to get her into wonder years. Can I get an amen? Huh? Come on. Wonder years. Okay. So, and you know, we have to make a conscientious choice. What we're feeding our soul is my point here. Um, there's all kinds of political stuff out there. What are you feeding your soul? We were just talking, um, here at the church, a couple of us were here. And we were talking about, you know, the differences between MSNBC and CNN and BBC and Fox News and, you know, just go, uh, you know, you can, what do you feed, what are we feeding our soul, you know, because you're going to, 
sadly, you know, all of these networks seem to have an agenda and they're pushing whatever their agenda is. So what, what am I feeding my soul? Because, you know, I start getting into, is it conspiracy theories on the left? Is it conspiracy theories on the right? Is it the Paul? Is it, you know, the government doing this? Is it a pandemic because of, you know, science and, you know, whatever side of it on? What am I feeding my, what am I feeding my soul? What am I putting in? Because, I'm, I'm feeding something just like at night I'm feeding my my body um, some cereal before I go to bed now listen I know I shouldn't do that I, I, it's not it's not like I'm sitting here eating a bowl of cereal going oh this is this is you know this is how I'm gonna lose weight and this is how I'm gonna take that extra 10 pounds off and this is you know this is gonna really make me look no you know I'm sitting there the whole time going yeah this is really dumb but oh, it tastes so good and for some reason it's kind of feeding my appetite. What are the things that I'm feeding my appetite with right now? Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, writes what I think may be some of the most important words for Christ followers. And he says this, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there's any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. You know, our soul longs for validation. Our soul longs for our, our proclivities to be um, justified. Our soul longs, you know, but at the end of the day, what our soul really longs for is peace. What we're searching for more than anything else is peace in our life. If I am watching all the horror movies on Netflix, you know, I love horror movies, but then we wonder why we're anxious and fearful, right? Um, if we're watching or if we're listening to and we're 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 ingesting um, politically divisive um, commentary all the time, you know, can I tell you something? Some of some of you, I love you. You send me your different political videos. I don't watch them. Not one. I don't ever watch them, right? Because I'm not interested in 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 being divisive in my thinking. So I'm not ingesting that. I, I refuse to ingest that in my life. You with me? So I have to make choices for my spirit and for my peace. So we have a lot of time on our hands, a lot of us, right? Right now. And so we can dig into and we can ingest and we can validate and we can justify all kinds of things that are really at the heart of it, just poisoning our spirit. And we justify by, oh, well, this is the truth, or that's the truth, or, you know, I really like this. Or, and then we wonder why, we wonder why we're so anxious, fearful, divisive, and there's, you know, hateful things that are coming out of our, out of our mouths. And out of our hearts, because from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So let me read this again. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, listen, whatsoever things are of good report. So let me go back to the true and honest, because some of you just justified, well, no, I have to put this, this stuff out there because it's pure. I mean, it's true. It's honest. Is it of a good report? Because it invalidates it if it's not of a good report, right? Now, it goes on. If there's virtue and if there's praise, think on these things. My dad used to say this all the time when we were growing up. He said, everybody has a right to their opinion. You don't always have the right to express it. I have the right to take in anything I want. But is it really beneficial? I have the right to watch. You know, I'm a grown man. I have the right to, to listen to or to watch or to read anything I want. 
But is it virtuous? Is it nourishing my soul? Is it valuable? Think on these things. Lord, I pray that you would help us to be wise. Being wise is more important than being right. Being wise is more important than being entertained. Being wise means that I nourish my heart, nourish my soul, so that from the abundance of my heart, what I'm speaking is life-giving, virtuous, uplifting. Lord, I pray today that you would remind us that the things that go in eventually come out. God, help us. Help us to control our appetites and to um, take in the things that ultimately are going to nourish us. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, God bless you. Uh, today's Friday, so I'll probably have a guest tomorrow. Blessings. See you tomorrow.